Here are the horoscopes for the week of the 17th to the 23rd of February 2020. We begin the week with Mars in Capricorn, making a harmonious angle to Uranus. And this is very much about taking our passion and making it happen. It's an unstoppable force, centred, focused and powered up. So since the Grand Conjunction at the beginning of January, we've been having a look at our lives in a different way, where we're putting our vital life force energy, whether we value that and how we can raise up where we put our energy to receive greater rewards and live a more purposeful life. So for the next few weeks, Mars in Capricorn will help us to stay focused and centered and raise up, really value that energy and create things of value as a result. By Monday we have Mercury retrograde at 12 degrees Pisces, so find that in your chart and see if you've got any natal planets or which house that's in, if you want to make this journey more personal and more rewarding for you. But the feeling of this is very magical. I'm born on the day that Mercury turns retrograde in Pisces, so I live this. And although classic astrologers say that it's a very detrimental aspect, that's only because they're looking at Mercury in the rational, logical, linear fashion. But we're being asked here to dive into the waters of our intuition, to release, to surrender, to appreciate everything in the greater world outside of our five senses. So a quote here from W.B. Yeats, the world is full of magic things, patiently waiting for our senses to grow sharper. So when we realise that we only see 5% of the light spectrum, we only hear 5% of the audio spectrum, then everything really in Pisces is going on in the 95%. So for the next few weeks with Mercury retrograde in Pisces, first of all, we look back to see what's come up in the last couple of weeks for awareness. We don't blame, we don't project, we don't create victimhood. Just look honestly and with interest at what's arising. And the time scale here is since the 2nd of February. So what has arisen from now since the 2nd of February, just generally to pique our interest and to show us that calibrations and changes are necessary. This can come in form of blocks, not being able to drive forwards from the will, but having to stop and look around and see the bigger picture. Mercury will be retrograde until the 10th of March. So we've got from this Monday to the 10th of March to really have a look at making those changes with that greater awareness. And then going direct at 28 degrees Aquarius, all the way back through over the retrograde point on the 30th of March, that is then the awareness. You'll see the changes come into effect. You'll see your change of perception and therefore your change of behaviour and therefore the changes that you're creating. So Mercury retrograde is always a wonderful aspect written about very badly, but it's our chance to make those calibrations and to get back on course. And in Pisces, this is very much about diving into the intuition, imagination, the bigger place where magic happens and coming out of that control brain, rational, logical, linear planning and forcing things to happen. So it goes against how we've been taught. That's why people find it difficult. But look to where 12 degrees Pisces is in your chart because this will be able to help you see if any planets are there that are allies in this period or which house it is in your chart to see where those changes are actually happening for you. More Piscean energy on Tuesday as Jupiter makes a harmonic aspect to Neptune. Jupiter is going to be the star of the show all the way up to April in the next phase of the Grand Conjunction which I'll be talking about in future weeks but Jupiter is our sovereignty so find your inner king or queen, find where you're bigger than you are, find where you want to amplify and expand and Neptune is the ocean of emotion, it is our intuition, it's where we tune in to the subtle vibrations once we've turned down the loudness of our chattering mind and turned down the brightness and harshness of the rational world. So this happens on the last day of Aquarius and we're swimming in very strange waters. So let's embrace this, let's go on a journey, a vision quest with it rather than resisting it. To immerse ourselves in the world beyond the five senses and feel into the cosmic waves. Tune into them, see which way the waters are flowing. So it's like deep sea diving really. Can we allow ourselves a bubble of time to really go and explore our greatness and our potential rather than keep enforcing our lives forward in the same old rigid ways. And by Wednesday the sun moves into Pisces, so very Piscean week. And as we go in, as we do the deep sea exploring, as we connect 
to the wonder and the magic of the world, then it's to find the excitement, the inner spark. So excitement is an intake of breath or a shiver down the spine. It's the spark that burns brightly in our soul. When we do manage to turn down the five percent senses, the rational brain, the logic, the control, the forcing, and truly listen, then our inner guidance system can be felt. And this helps us to follow the call with faith and perform with purpose. So with this Jupiter-Neptune energy, what's bubbling in your pot of potential? Our linear CV has us ever restricted. And yet we've cast away or put aside a lot of our potential, a lot of our talent and a lot of our excitement for the sake of rationality. But if you just stop and have a look at your potential, your talents, your excitements, then add those high quality ingredients back into your pot and stir it with intention. So this is really powerful year, your unique recipe is simmering and your true frequency is delicious. Let's go back and have a soul retrieval to all those aspects of ourselves while we're swimming in the waters of Pisces and Mercury retrograde. By Friday we're back with Mars in Capricorn, reaching out to Uranus and together they're conspiring to blast away limitation, to confront fear and to light the way for us to step into our power. So with these two mighty electric planets leading the way like a torch, and Jupiter clearing the space, helping us reconnect to all that we are and our power. This is working in a beautiful harmony. Then by the weekend we have the new moon at four degrees Pisces. So again, go back to your chart, where is that? And this is at 3.33 p.m. UK time. Some very powerful numbers there for wholeness and magic. So by the weekend, who are you really? As the masks of delusion slip away, and the clear vision and focus reveal themselves in our inner eye. To know, to feel, to be authentic and to tune in, to listen and to become our greater self is really the only option. So this whole week is changing us cellularly from the inside out. Gone are the old ways of struggle and attachment. And flooding in are the new strange waters of inner exploration and reconnecting to our wholeness. So as always, it's beautiful to see how these waves, these different frequencies flow and weave together, giving us a day by day guidance that we can tune into. Make these very subtle changes that will leave us so much better off. So enjoy the Mercury retrograde, enjoy that letting go, the what if, the awe, the wonder, Ask to see the magic in every day and to stop and see the way the cosmic waves are flowing once we let go of the plan. And this is lining up to be a very soulful and sovereign week. So if you'd like to see where this is happening for you, I am available in person or online. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about astrology, I have my astrology course and you can cherry pick different modules on that if you've already got a head start. I'm also available for one-to-one -one lessons. If you want to customise something, brush up your knowledge, fill in the gaps. And I have vouchers for zodiac packs, for readings, for courses. If you'd like to gift any Pisces in your life or anyone in your life really, the gift of cosmic vision. I work on every level, spiritual, mental, emotional and physical. And as I've said before, this is a great time to release from the energy body things that are ready to go now as we mentally sort out some of our stories and release them we do need to then let that go from the energy body to feel lighter and stronger and brighter so all my offerings are on my website www.astrozo.com these videos and more are on my youtube zoe astro i post daily insights on facebook at astrozo and instagram at zoe Hine 7 you're very welcome to contact me, zoehind7 at gmail.com. So wishing you a wonderful vision quest this week. We're really going in to find who we truly are, to clear away the debris and the density, to reconnect to our majesty. And when we view things from this perspective, Mercury retrograde in Pisces can be a truly magical experience. So those are the horoscopes for this week, and I'll see you next week.